Good day. My name is Ken Edwards. I'm an owner and engineer with LMNO Engineering Research and Software Limited here in Athens, Ohio, USA. This is our home page, www.lmnoeng.com. And this video is going to analyze the previous experiment, which analyzed water flowing through a horizontal tube. And I hope you watched that video previously. It was a three-quarter inch nominal diameter Schedule 40 PVC pipe with an actual inside diameter of 0.824 inch and the length of the test section was four feet. The experimental data collected during the experiment was an upstream head of 32.625 inches, a downstream head of 30.125 inches, that's 30 and 1 8 inch, and this was 32 and 5 8 inches, and the flow rate was 3 gallons in 35 seconds. Then we can compute the um, pressure drop in PSI to use in our software, and uh, we do that by using the equation gamma times the head difference, 62.3 pounds per cubic foot for water at 70 degrees Fahrenheit is the uh, weight density times the difference in head and then a conversion factor from feet to inches gives us 0 0.09013 psi pressure difference along the horizontal four foot long length. The flow rate was three gallons measured in 35 seconds and then a conversion factor of 60 seconds per minute gives us a flow rate of 5.14 US gallons per minute. So the next thing we want to do is predict the flow rate from the pressure drop and compare it to a measured flow rate, compared to the measured flow rate. So we're going to um, use our Hazen-Williams calculation and if we go to our home page and scroll down to the calculations and then pressurized conduit section and click on water pipe Hazen-Williams This calculation allows us to predict the flow rate based on the measured head. And so we'll enter the characteristics of the pipe and then uh, compute the flow rate. But let's first look at how this calculation works as far as what equations it uses. Our piping situation was a horizontal pipe um, with no pump. Um, flow was from point 0.1 to point 0.2 along a horizontal length, so our Z1 minus Z2 will be zero, and our pump head will be zero, as opposed to we did not have a situation where we had reservoirs at either end um, of our pipe section. We just had the, the, the uh, pipe itself. And then we could also, from our calculation, we have options to select various other scenarios, such as reservoir to pipe, pipe to reservoir, and so on. And I'll show you how you could select these options um, if that was your situation, like if you had a a, uh, a large tank for instance, but uh, we measured the, f the head directly in the pipe. So we want to use the A pipe scenario. So the equations that are used by the Hazen-Williams method are the steady state energy equation and the uh, head losses, that is the friction losses, are computed using this Hazen-Williams equation. And then if we had minor losses, we would use the minor loss equation. And so I encourage you to read more on this page um, about the uh, definitions of the variables and the equation that's used to come up with the flow rate. You can also scroll down this page and see a list of Hazen-Williams coefficients. For our tube, it was plastic, and so it would have a Hazen-Williams C value between 140 and 150, so we'll use a value of 145. And then here we also have a list of minor loss coefficients, um, but we do not have any in our four-foot horizontal test section because there are no bends and no other fittings. So let's go back to the calculation section, and we want to solve for flow rate, so we'll leave that, solve for V comma Q. Now instead of a reservoir to reservoir scenario, we have pipe only, and let's compute our flow in gallons per minute, our velocity in feet per second, diameter in inches, and pressure in PSI. So let's come over to the right hand side of our calculation and we had a pipe diameter of 0 0.824 inches. So 0 
four inches. Our, our length between the two head measurements was four feet. Our Hayes and Williams coefficient for the plastic pipe is about 145. We did not have any elbows um, <coughs> or other types of fittings between the two head measurements, so that is zero. Our elevation difference was, was zero because it was horizontal. Our pressure difference was measured as 0 0.09013 0 0.09013 let's make sure I got that right 9013 9013 with a zero in front 0 0.09013 and so now we and our there's no pump between our two test sections between our two head measurements so let's go ahead and click to calculate and so the calculation gives us a flow rate of 4.976 or 4.98 um, gallons per minute. So now let's compare that to our measured flow rate. So 4.98 is the gallons per minute from the Hayes and Williams calculator. Our measured flow was 5.14 gallons per minute. So let's compute the percent difference between the two. 5.14 minus 4.98 over 4.98 times 100% gives us a difference of 3.2%, which is very good agreement. Um, now, why might the agreement not be exact? Well, our head measurements were plus or minus one eighth of an inch, 0.125 inch. Our flow rate time could have been off by plus or minus two seconds, and the Hayes and Williams coefficient we used um, was an average for plastic, uh, which has a Hayes and Williams approximately between 140 and 150 um, and so maybe our pipe was maybe 140 or 150 or some other number so there are a few reasons for uh, the difference in the measure in the uh, measured versus the computed values um, this uh, this concludes our our video of the analysis using the Hayes and Williams for friction losses um, if you have questions feel free to call me Ken Edwards at uh, in the USA at area code 740-592-1890 and you can always email me at lmnoeng.com and all that information is here at our homepage lmnoeng.com thank you for watching